So this comes with Windows 10 Home. What the luck? Come on. Let's get rid of that Windows Home. Let's get some Windows Pro. Copy and paste my code from the description. You can also get Office 2019. Just paste my code. Woof. It's Windows Pro time. Righto, tell you other champs, and this one I have been waiting for. I've been waiting a long time. The Gigabyte Aero 17. Now, if you don't know, the 16 and 17 inch are coming back, baby. They're coming back. Next MacBook Pro, 16 inch, is going to be an XPS 17 inch next year. And it's probably going to be my next content creation laptop, a 17 inch. And to be perfectly frank here, I don't think anyone else is going to get more performance out of these parts, this i9 here, than Gigabyte do with this Aero 17. And I can tell you now, without a word of a lie, you're going to be blown away by the performance of this. The fastest laptop I've had in here, I'm not including like the Alienware Area 51M because that's using desktop top part i mean obviously that is the fastest but out of the laptops with the mobile part you know ninth generation 9750h or 9980hk this is the fastest and i said when i done the gaming review on the aero 15 i wanted to see an i9 in it and this aero 17 has an i9 and woof i'm blown away absolutely blown away by what this can do so let's quickly unbox it and have a look here aero box nice black box Tastefully done. Open it up and indeed you get in there. The power supply, 230 watt power supply. Barrel connector, of course. You cannot USB-C, this type of power. You get your standard literature and warranty or whatever the hell that is. Does anyone read that stuff? And then anyway, here it is. The Beast. The Aero 17. And I've said it in my gaming laptop reviews. 17 inch is the best for gaming, obviously, because of the screen size. And it's no different with content creation. This thing has a killer 4K HDR panel, 100% Adobe RGB, Pantone color certified by x -Rite. So this thing is no joke for a content creator. This is like the absolute weapon for a content creator. This is actually a studio laptop. So it's not a gaming laptop. It's not marketed as a gaming laptop, of course it's going to game well and i will do the gaming review but i'm going to focus on content creation with this because this is indeed the studio laptop it's certified by nvidia as a studio laptop so i don't have to mess about installing the studio drivers for a content creator now i know i always say this a lot but it's only about certain devices right but this is shaping up to be everything I want in a content creator device. First of all, 17 inch, as I said, bigger display, better cooling. And you've got to remember, even though it's 17 inch, it's the size of a 15 inch of a few years ago. You know, it's 2.5 kilos or 5.5 pounds. You know, 17.3 inch display, all the ports you want for a content creator, two M.2s inside. You get Ethernet, SD card reader, a load of USB Type A's, audio in and out. Not many laptops have audio in and out. You get Thunderbolt 3, USB Type C, HDMI out, everything you want for a content creator this has. And it has the power. This is probably the only laptop that gets the absolute most out of this i9. Be prepared to be blown away. So let's have a look at Cinebench. What's a good score for Cinebench? i7, 9750H. 2200 to about 2005 maybe 2600 is a good score for a knife gen i9 you're looking at about 2800 up to 3200 the xps 15 i was able to overclock undervolt that and i got up to around 36 but this thing here i could actually undervolt it by minus 175 millivolts that's where I start. I'm going to have to go to Gigabyte and say, hey, I actually want this unit. This is the Aero 17 I want. You go get another review unit. I'll pay you for this. I want to keep it because of that massive undervolt I can get. If you don't know, the i9 is supposed to do 4.2 gigahertz all cores. That's its maximum boost. Turns out it only does 4.1 all cores. And with this undervolt and I unlock the power limit, this laptop easily does that. Like without a sweat, it can pull that 4.1 all cores, no problems. And woof. It smashes the 4,000 barrier. It doesn't just beat the 4,000 barrier. This can sustain over 100 watts indefinitely with that undervolt and the power limit unlocked. Over 100 watts. Are you joking? Like, just think about that. And I actually leave this Cinebench running. You can watch me go through and just adjust things. But think about this. XPS 15, 56 watts. I mean, the razor blade was limited to like 45 watts. Even the Gigabyte Aero, both of these 17 and 15, are limited to, I think, 62 out of the box. But once you unlock the power limit and undervolt, you can put up the wattage to as much as you want. But I've just never seen one of these laptops be able to maintain over 100 watts. And when I did an over 
overclocked the CPU and it was just running stock with the undervolt and the power limit lifted, the temperatures were well in check. I mean, it would just get into the 80s. It's only when you start to push over 100 watts, it gets into the 90s and hits that 90 cap and has to go down a bit. It can do 5 gigahertz running single threaded benchmarks. If I raise the limit to 110 watts, although it can't sustain it, it can push 4.6, even over 4.6. It actually hits 5 gigahertz all cores. Only for a brief moment, but it doesn't. I cannot be more impressed by the thermals of this straight away. Now, of course, once you hit the GPU, things are going to change, right? It's not going to maintain 100 watts while the GPU has been lit up and add in extra heat in there. But this is like double the amount of wattage of most laptops in this class. What this can maintain, maybe a bit less than double. But when you're talking over 100 watts, that's absolutely insane. So stay tuned for my gaming review and my content creation review. I'll do a comparison between both these arrows here. It absolutely gets the most out of this i9. And this i9 is no joke. This arrow is no joke. The 17 inch is well worth the wait. And now this actually has an RTX 2070 Max-Q in here. That is the perfect one for content creation. Don't think you need a 2080 for content creation. So I think they've chosen the right GPU for this. You can get an RTX 2060 model as well. The 2070 is the one you want because you get that 8 gigabyte and you get the GDDR6. So this one's going to be hard to beat for the best content creation. Like, yeah. So thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you in the next one, guys. Tally ho.